Well, hello everyone. My name is Fazi. Welcome to Herald. I think this is book one and book two. There are four books total. And for today's release, there are two books. Together. <laughs> Combo packed. On release day. Hey, Julia, welcome. Welcome everybody to the stream. Hello, everyone. It is time to play. I tried this out um, maybe two minutes earlier to try out the configurations and stuff. So it is time to start a new one. Yeah, looks like it is going to be an, an awesome game, an epic adventure game. So I can't wait. Here we go, guys. Start a new game. Book 1 Aya and Irreverence. What is Book 2? A Tale of Two Daughters. Wow. Anyway, Book 1. Greatly inspired by events that took place during the 19th century, the story is set in an alternate version of history. No sense of sound. No smell of air. Breathless. I drifted among faceless shapes without a clear distinction of form. Blinded until someone or something made me soar. Higher and higher still, I went. I love the music of this game. That is all I can remember. Is my voice too high? Okay, thank you. I turned the game volume up. I don't believe you. Uh, the the Ran. Who are you? Now sit down. Alright, click to walk. She sounds scary, guys. Who is this? Are you my mother? I'm sorry, but you can't leave until you tell me. Where are you from? And what is it that you seek in the colonies? Okay, so is my volume okay now? Am I in sync with the game volume? I want them to be uh, equally the same. <laughs> or oh, about the same. So is it alright now? Yes or no? I can adjust it. Further, if you want. Is it okay? Okay, so this is not my mother. <laughs> hmm, who are you? Where am I from? I came from the west and I'm looking for my roots. I ju I'm just a lone traveler. I seek nothing. I was born here. I'm merely returning home. Okay, so... Lower the game volume. I don't know what my story is. <laughs> How should I pick this? I'm just a long traveler. I like that. What does it matter? I go wherever my feet take me, and I seek nothing in particular. That's true. 
Do you or do you not swear allegiance to the Lord Protector as a servant of his protectorate? Um, I don't know who he is. <laughs> I stay silent. You don't have to speak. Your uniform already betrayed you. The bright blue fabric, the golden stitching. It tells me that you are part of the crew on one of their ships, probably a merchant vessel. The embroidery even says that you are the captain of that ship. Oh, really? Impressive. But what happened to your ship, Captain? How would I know? <laughs> I'm not telling you anything. I don't know. That is the truth. I, re I don't really know. I'm tired. I would like to rest and talk later. Yeah, I want to go to my room. I'm yes. sorry. I'm getting really tired. I'd like to take some rest. We can talk later. Are you trying to buy time? That's not going to work. Hey lady, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> what is your problem? Uh, why are you holding me captive? Yes. Who are you? First, tell me who you are. I am the Rani, and you can address me as such. What is a Rani? What is a Rani, guys? An Empress? Now is this journal yours? Um... <laughs> where did you get that? Where did you get that? Who gave that to you? It says Devon Rensburg inside. Is that you? I don't know. Give it back. That is mine. Even though... I have no idea what's going on. Give that back! You've got no right! Don't worry. You'll get it back. After you've enlightened me on its contents. Now read it for me. And remember, I expect the truth. Is that really my journal? Again, where are you from? And what is it that you seek in the colonies? A Rani is the wife of a Raj, I think. Oh, okay, thank you, Chris. I yawn to find my roots again. I need an adventure, a new thrill to keep me going. Yes, I am an adventure gamer. So that's what I do. I look for new adventures. Fine, I'll give you the long version. <laughs> the long version. <laughs> yes, I guess we have all the time in the world. It's not like I have any choice. Super long, detailed version of the events from the past. <laughs> Some sort of Indian queen, like a sultana to a sultan. Ah, okay. Thank you, Chris, the human encyclopedia. <laughs> I come from the West, born here in the colonies, but raised in the capital of the Protectorate's homeland. Yeah, he does look Indian. Yes. A dull and depressing city, full of stuck-up people with terrible customs. Nothing thrilling ever happened there. So I decided to leave that place in search of adventure. I had heard about someone in the harbor recruiting men for a merchant ship sailing to the east. It was a standard trading mission along the Indigo route. I had never worked on a ship before, but enlisting in the Merchant Navy was the only way for me to acquire passage across the sea. So that's what I did. The recruiter, Aaron Ludlow was his name, took me in a rowing boat out of the harbour, and there she was, his lordship's vessel, Herald. The name of the game. <laughs> Raisins! <laughs> Book 1, Aya in Irreverence. Not those kind of raisins. <laughs> yeah, amazing graphics. I like it.
Very pleasing on the eyes, these graphics. Very, very nice for an adventure game. My god, Letlow, have you read this? What? Captain Cornelis Henriques. Henriques. No, sir, I haven't. I thought I was the captain. <laughs> I guess I'm only a subordinate. I'm no captain, guys. Your people seem to be causing a lot of unrest in the colonies lately. My people, sir? Well, you know. I don't know, sir. The Indigo Farmers. They claim the trade does not benefit them enough. They accuse the Lord Protector of abuse of power and demand fairer wages. The local regent has yet to respond, but I fear he will cave in to the pressure. Is that why we have the politician on board? Yes. Senator Morton is the region's brother-in-law, and he's going to help him with the complex politics of this affair. He's also accompanying the region's daughter safely back to the colonies. Remember to treat both of them with respect. Okay. Sir. Yeah, he does have a different name here. Aaron Ludlow. Maybe this journal is not his, guys. Or maybe he is using a different name on the ship. Is there anything else you brought from shore? Well, apart from the new recruit, a letter, sir. Addressed to Senator Morton. Well, what are you waiting for? Give it to me. B but, sir, it's not your... My ship, my rules, Ludlow. You know this. Besides, I don't think Mr. Morton has anything to hide from me. <laughs> he better not. May I remind you he is a protectorate official, sir. And so am I. <laughs> you there. What do you think, boy? Should I open the letter or not? Oh, this is me! <laughs> okay, the same name. I thought that guy is me, people. <laughs> That's Devon Ransberg. I'm only a sailor. That's even worse. <laughs> I am a normal sailor. So that uniform is not mine. That blue uniform. Wow. I told the captain to open the letter. I hadn't expected the captain to address me. I warned the captain not to open the letter. Mm, I... I'm going to warn him. Yeah, you are stepping on boundaries here. Don't open it, sir. It's none of your business, and the Protectorate won't like it. Yeah. Really, now? But what if it's important? What if it's something I need to know in order to keep the peace among the crew and passengers? I am the captain, after all, and I have the responsibility to know everything. You should remember that, Mr. Uh... And you should remember that my name. <laughs> my name is Devon Rensberg. Um, wow. Mr. Rensberg, Devon Rensberg, Devon. Hmm. Devon Rensberg. Devon Rensberg, sir. Pleased to meet you, Captain. Captain Cornelius Hendricks. Nice to have you aboard the Herald, Rensburg. I assume you understand that there are rules here. Officer Lutlow will give you the lowdown on them during your tour of the ship. Sir, I have other... But first, Lutlow, I'd like you to find Senator Morton and send him here. I need to talk to him about this letter of his. Yes, you discuss this with him. <laughs> be quick about it. I'll send Rensburg off to you in a moment. I'll be no part of this. Yes, sir. Be sure to see me on deck, Devon. So then, Rensburg, I take it you must be returning home to your family? Am I now? I said yes, adding that I didn't know my real family. I explained that my family lived in Protectorate. So the captain I was done with my protective family. Uh... Yeah. 
Yes, I am, sir. It feels strange to say that, though, since I don't really remember my family. Are these choices really important? Do they really matter? <laughs> what do you think, people? I was adopted. Oh. I know my father is a protectorian, and my mother is originally from the colonies. It won't be easy to find them. That's why I'm writing everything that might help me with my search, down in my journal. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I see. Well, you should look at my globe then, Rendsburg. As you see, the colonies are very big. <laughs> you should write it in your journal. Well, off you go to your tour of the ship. Have a nice evening. Okay, so new task at the journal. Uh, I was told to exit the captain's cabin. You can click to inspect objects that are highlighted when you elect them with the cursor. And try this on the globe. Okay, he seems to be a very nice captain, guys. Even though we disobey him just now, he is still a very nice guy. Yeah, a nice captain.